I'm Dr Tom and I'm on a mission to visit as many remote forestry and rural communities around New Zealand that I can to promote health and well-being. I'm passionate about keeping Kiwis out of the emergency department where I still occasionally work. I decided that I could save more lives going around the country being the ambulance at the top of the cliff than I could working at the hospital. In my travels, I've encountered many situations where Kiwis need to be taking more care of their personal health, but for many reasons haven't. Forestry is a classic case. It is a male dominated industry and we all know how good men are at looking after ourselves. The fact that the workplace is usually more remote and the hours are long all adds up to a lack of healthcare for many in the industry. Ironically, these workers usually operate complex machinery or use careful skills with equipment like chainsaws that need regular maintenance to operate correctly. So these guys do know how to look after themselves, they do it all the time with their gear. I just want them to apply the same care to themselves, after all, we are our greatest asset. In my 20s, I spent four years working in forestry at the end of a chainsaw and back then just about everyone smoked. In fact, you were the odd one out if you didn't. We should all know by now that there isn't a health upside for smoking. We know it is doing real damage to our health, but many in the forestry industry still smoke today anyway. It is not hard to understand why. Smoking is extremely addictive. When I test workers in the field, I often use a lung function test to measure their lung capacity, and it's important for smokers to understand what is happening to their lungs when they smoke. Our lungs and respiratory system allow us to breathe. They bring oxygen into our bodies and send carbon dioxide out. A normal male has approximately five to six liters of lung capacity when mature, and as part of our normal aging process, this goes down as we get older. That's a loss of around 20 to 30 mils of lung volume per year. This line represents the point where we can't get enough oxygen into our lungs in order for them to function. Doctors sometimes call this the emphysema line. When you have emphysema, you literally can't breathe and you will eventually die. For most people, that would be a ripe old age that we would consider a normal lifespan. However, smoking changes all this. Smokers can lose up to 100 mils per year. That's three to four times more than normal and it can dramatically shorten your life. That's because the chemicals in the smoke that smokers inhale damages the lungs and prevent them from doing their job. The good news is that if you can stop smoking, you will stop the rapid damage and you will add years to your life. And that's quality years. So come on forestry workers, if you are smoking, it's time to do something about it. There are many ways you can get help and I urge you to try. Not only will you feel better, probably add more years to your life. You will also save a ton of money. You wouldn't keep working with a blunt saw blade or no oil in the engine, so give yourself as much attention as your tools and I won't see you in the emergency department. You might also get yourself some more powers and catch more pigs.